Good morning. Welcome to my craft room. I went looking for some blue beads this morning for a project I was working on and I couldn't find them. So I pulled out all my beads and then the sun came out and I thought this might be a good time to do a quick video and show you some of the ways that um, I use beads in making junk journals and junk journaled altered planners. So I came up with a quick list of 10 ways to use beads. I want to tell you first, I keep my beads in mason jars and my collection uh, has been growing for probably 20 years now. Um, when, when I get beads and they're a specific color group, I put them in one of these small little glass jars and, and if I get something similar that would coordinate well I put it in the same jar and before you know it you have um, plenty of jars. I keep them stacked three deep um, in the bottom of one of my RASCOG type uh, craft carts and usually it's quite organized but the blue beads were not there this morning and, and I took them all out and it ended up they were on a shelf and had not been put away properly last time. So the first way is to sew them right onto the fabric of the cover of your journal or um, inside. And this is a beautiful journal that Sonia Milojevic, my dear friend in Serbia, made for me. And just intricately, she actually stitched all these beads around. It was just lovely. So th that's the first idea. Um, and, and definitely the most intricate and complicated. I completely admire her for her patience to do this type of work. The second idea is to take a stick pin. This is uh, one of the needle books that I made recently. And on the pages inside, I took stick pins quilting pins, something with a bulb on the end, and I literally put some little beads and just stuck them right in, straight in. So anytime you've got a um, piece of canvas or felt or what I would call a thicker uh, tapestry, upholstery piece of fabric inside your junk journal, you could always use this method to put one right in. These little beads that I used actually come from strung beads that we get uh, in the US. Most of the craft stores have them and they have regular sales they have really good sales where they're half off and then you have a coupon on top of it and uh, I have a jar what I do when I'm working with beads is I take a little white fruit bowl and I will dump out part of the color I'm working with and uh, and be able to find my little teddy bears or flowers and dig out the various ones I keep my silver ones in a big glass jar there and then they're easy to return. So anyways, the little bees on the stick pin. The stick pin is the second idea for working with beads. The third idea, I've used coilless, coilless safety pins. And it's basically a safety pin without the little coil on the end. And these are wonderful because typically when you have a safety pin, If this has a coil on the end, I have to stick it in here, put beads on part of it, and then anchor it back through the cloth. So you've only got partial real estate there to, to get your beads and, and danglies on. But when you have a coilless, you can literally put it into the fabric. and pull it around and then you've got this whole side free to put beads on which is what I did in the edge of my needle books here these are just silver and uh, and and colored beads here 
So that's a third idea. The fourth idea is to use bulb pens. Um, I actually, bulb pens are quite pricey, uh, but I found a great deal compared to what we're paying in stores um, for various colors of bulb pens. And I'll plop a link, an Amazon link uh, below. And these are wonderful. There's no sewing involved. And you can, here are my much sought after blue, blue beads there. You can just plop a few on here, even uh, throw something pretty like a little flower and another blue one. And this is ready to clip right on to whatever project you've got. So bulb pins are the fourth idea. Of course, if you don't have any coilless safety pins, regular safety pins work as well. I've got them here. Here we go. And as I said before, regular safety pins are a little bit more tricky because you'll need to just hook into the fabric. I'm using canvas. If you've watched any of my tutorials, you know my love affair with canvas. And then you have a, a limited amount of room, but you can still get something pretty, something charming on there. If I can grab a butterfly. Oh, I do have room for one more bead. Excellent. And there you have a little butterfly on it. Um, one of the reasons I go for the longer safety pins and if you're especially if you're using ones with coils you might want to consider this is because I like to grab the fabric again there so it will lay almost flat you can take the pin and the back side of it just just arch it just a little so it'll lay flatter so regular safety pins work as well the sixth way that I've listed to use um, beads in making junk journals is to use some larger beads and attach them right onto the ribbon or seam binding or sari silk in a tassel. And it's really simple enough. I'm just going to tie a knot here in this seam binding, just a simple knot and slide one of these wooden beads over. Okay, don't watch. I'm going to need a pokey tool. I do not recommend you doing this at home because you might split the end of your seam binding or ribbon, but it's my quick cheat to get things through the bigger beads. When I have more patience, sometimes I this is usually much easier. There we go. When I have more patience, I will put a little piece of scotch tape around the end and feed it through so it has a finished end like a shoelace. And then I'm just going to tie another knot beneath it. I'm not going to pull that knot tight, tight. I want it big enough to stop that bead, but it's a neat effect. And it just puts some, some extra texture, some extra media into your, um, into your tassels. So that is my sixth idea. The seventh idea is to use a head pin. Just 
get this out of the way. A head pin is a flat ended stick and I like them. I like the two inch ones and it's quite easy to take some take some beads and uh, make a make a dangly charm. So I've got some purple beads there. And I'm not sure what I want to use. I'm never sure what I want to use usually when I dig into that. But I'm going to take my head pin and these, I love these, this is like a dusty purple. And I'm going to put a big flower onto it. And another purple. I'm going to take my round nose pliers, turn it at a 90 degree angle, fold the top over, and just twist that right around. And just like that, we've we've made a charm out of our beads that can be then put on a bulb pin or a safety pin or even a paper clip. So with the little charm that we've just made, I'm just gonna snip that end. And this is an owl clip. Similar to a paper clip, I just feel that they anchor the page better and it also gives you two places if you want to do a, a double dangle and it'll slip right onto your page. So that is number seven. Number eight is to simply take ribbons and tie your bigger beads on to make bookmarks as I've done for this book. And these were some of the very first bookmarks I ever made and I love them. I just, and I like it because they just hang right off the shelf, kind of uh, embellishes my bookshelf as well as my book. So tying the big beads for a bookmark. The ninth way to use beads in junk journals are to take coilless safety pins. I'm going to take one that's, I would call that an inch long. I don't want one of the big, big ones. I need to look into getting some medium ones, but a smaller one will work. What I'd like to do is embellish the tab of this planner, and it could be the tab in a junk journal, but this just happens to be a planner I have handy. And all I'm going to do, let me zoom you in just a bit here. Sorry for the shake. There we go. I'm going to put this through this lace tab upside down. and then turn it around this way. And I just had them out. There they are. Sorry for the reach. Got a lot of jars today. My orange Van Gogh feeling beads. Lots of oranges and golds and mauves. So I always try to do this before my third cup of coffee too. It's a little a little more challenging the more coffee I've had. One of the other things that I really like is uh, metallic beads. I have these silver beads that show up really well and they make the other beads that might have just plain color 
uh, it makes them pop more off the page. And I've even found multi-packs that have the bronze, copper, gold colors and uh, just adds a little more, I don't know, glit, glitz, I guess, makes it vibrant. And then you can just hook it right on there. Oh, there's my lost bead. Yay. I have a bowl. When I sweep the floor, I always stop and pick up the little jump rings and beads and buttons that I may have dropped over the past week. And I have a bowl where I collect them and it's a mishmash. So occasionally they make it back to where they belong. So there we go. Just really neat little way to put some extra oomph in your tabs. And number 10, I've got some hemp and I'm going to, well, I'm going to attempt to find the end. This came off of one of those cards where it was wrapped around and as, as per my consistency, I started unwrapping from the wrong end. So I'm going to take a piece that's as long as a tassel that I'm making and then double it over and then I'm going to pull out about half as much again. Scissors, scissors. And this is just wonderful for adding that beaded element. And you can go right through with your favorite colors. Um, here's my Here's my purple beads. I call it my, my Vicky pile. I'm in the middle of learning all about the color purple. So I can reach the little ones. Learning all about the color purple with my friend Vicky in England who loves purple and the more I talk to her, the more I see purple everywhere. So there's definitely some infectious color fun going on there. And you can just string as many as you want. Knot it, do another knot, leave a space, string some more, or make it a constant string of them. And, uh, when you're finished, you can just work this right into your tassel as if it was a ribbon or any other thing. I usually try to make it drape on the outside of, of the um, tassel when I, when I add it. So that's it. That's my brainstorming beads for junk journals with you. I, uh, I appreciate you putting up with my disorganization here and hope you got something out of it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.